It's Saturday, May the 26th, Memorial Day weekend, and my brother and his wife just left. They came for a nice visit, and we went out to lunch. So I was going to tell some uh, stories about Greybush Gardens, but it's so windy, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this or not. Uh, yesterday, I was leaving the gardens to go to the grocery store, and as I came around the corner, just before the stop sign, over by Aunt Tom's house, here was this old woman down on the ground next to her walker. And so I stopped the car and jumped out and ran over and are you all right? Yes, I just need to get up. And so we got her. She was with some younger woman who was just kind of standing there dazed and confused like she didn't know what to do. So this woman said, let me get on my knees, which was really hard because her legs were as big as tree trunks. This woman was huge. And I'm thinking, should I be trying to lift her? The answer was probably not, but I did. Got around behind her, put my arms under her arms, which were flopping up in the air like chicken wings on a big fat hen that you're preparing for dinner. And uh, she was so fat. So I had my arms around her. I thought, oh God, now she's gonna report me for getting fresh with her and but I couldn't tell what was breast meat and what was folds of other fat I mean she was just huge so finally I got her up into a standing position and she took off with her walker she had fallen because the grass was wet and my arms were all wet afterwards because she was all sweaty and she had fallen down in the wet grass. So when I got to the store they had those those wipes, those germ wipes, so I used some of those. Not that I thought she was that germy, but it was kind of disgusting. So later on that afternoon I ran into one of the other old ladies that lives in my building and I was telling her about it and she said, you know, you really don't want to do that because if you try and help somebody and they, you're lifting them and you rupture something on them, she said, those were her words, you know, there's a liability issue. And I said, yeah, I can understand that. And I said, liability issue too if I rupture something on myself, which was more closer to what I thought was going to happen. So she said, our instructions are, and she said, and the staff will tell you that they are not allowed to help anybody up that has fallen down. Uh, they call 911, and that's what we're supposed to do too. So she said, I hate to bust the bu bubble on your Good Samaritan thing, but it's uh, just not a good idea. And I must say, I have to agree. So next time I see some old woman laying on the grass next to her walker, I will call 911 and say, Gray Lady down, Gray Lady down. The woman that wanted me to take her granddaughter to the park and got a wild hair and decided she was going to plant all these tomatoes. Well, she's got a little area in front of her apartment, you know, for flowers and whatever she wants to plant in there. But it's on the west side of the building, so it gets some pretty good light. But she found this place where her friend planted tomatoes last year, where the, there's a new guy living in the apartment. So she asked him, do you mind if I plant some things here? And he said, 
No, not at all. He thought when he said that, that she was going to plant flowers. So he goes out and here's all these big, like five of them, tomato cages. And so he went in and told the people in the front office, he said, this woman wants to plant all these tomatoes. I thought she was going to plant flowers. He said, I like to sit out there in the evening, but I want to look at flowers, not tomatoes. And they said, well, good, how are you? So anyway, he told her and she got upset and she went in the office and they had to have a little come to Jesus meeting with her and say, you got to be a little more specific and this is this guy's area in his yard so you've got to go along with his wishes. Well, what am I going to do with all these tomato plants? One of them was huge. And I guess she's going to grow it in a bucket. But it's already got tomatoes on it. And I didn't have, she said it's a cheater. She's cheating because it has tomatoes. I didn't have the heart to tell her she has to cut those little unripe tomatoes off, plus all the flowers, so the tomato plant will toss all its energy into growing instead of producing right off the bat. But I thought, I've been down that road before and it, people get angry with you when you tell them the truth. So she's got a couple of them sitting out. Oh, it's by my little back garden. She wanted to plant herbs in my garden. And I said, no, my garden is full. I've got everything planted there that I want planted there. So I think she was a little unhappy that I wasn't going to share my garden with her. And that's it on the, the loopy lady. Well, tomorrow was Sunday and I signed up for the one o'clock seating for the meal at Greybush Gardens. I went Oh, I think it was last week and we had chicken and they're having roasted chicken tomorrow. <clears throat> that was fried chicken we had last week. And uh, it was pretty good. It was not the exact piece I would want if I was choosing a piece of chicken, but beggars can't be choosers. Well, I'm pretty much out of stories today on Graybush Gardens and the interesting lovely people who live there. The inmates as I call them. This inmate has escaped for the day and I think I may stop in at Bull and Bush for a refresco alcoholico. I'm trying to remember what their uh, malt of the month was last time. I think it was at Seagram's. I would order something different. I think I'll order a, a bourbon I have never tried. That'll, that'll be interesting. I think I've tried most of them. Even the high, high dollar ones. God, is this a thicket in here. The willows have really grown thick. Here's the bull and bush. I'll take us inside. It's so dark though that I have to take my glasses off because my glasses turn dark in the sunlight. And when I walk in this bar, I can't see a thing.
I had a Pappy Van Winkle, 15 year old bourbon. Um, can't say it was that flavorful, but it was like uh, 107 proof. So, I don't usually like them that strong. It was alright. <laughs>